Self-realization is also the realization that you are whole and complete. So the realization is, I am whole and complete. <sighs> I'm whole and complete. I am not doing anything and I'm not going anywhere. I am. I am is whole and complete. I am all of it. And at the same time, <laughs> your person, you are whole and complete. And at the same time, you are the whole system and a particle in the system at the same time. So the miraculous is that from that place of wholeness and completeness, you start to draw into your experience other being that are all and complete, that feel whole and complete. beacon uh, an invitation for others to to feel their wholeness and their completeness to know their wholeness their whole perfection you know just like a flower a flower is turned to the light is basking in the Sun it doesn't it doesn't ask itself am I complete am I whole am I perfect I'm not perfect the flower is whole and complete and doesn't look for another flower to feel whole and complete. It's a whole system in itself. And it's a cell in the whole as well. It's an expression of wholeness and completeness. And at the same time, it is whole and complete. So we could compare this to self-realization. You realize you are that flower that is already whole that doesn't need another flower to bask in the light and the miraculous is that we can share ourselves from this place of wholeness we can meet in joy meet in love instead of meeting in division we don't meet in suffering. In suffering, we divide. We find comfort in suffering with others. But that's not the purpose of life. The purpose of life is for us to meet in joy, in allness. I am all and complete. I meet you. You are all and complete. And in, in, in this, together we rejoice. Together we have the gift of being able to share this in the form. That's the miracle. That's the miracle is that we can rejoice in our wholeness. In abundance. in abundance in all form abundance of joy abundance of love abundance of inspiration creativity peace uh, anything money money is just an energy it's a representation of higher frequency abundance of excitement abundance of silence abundance of relationship friendship opportunity name it it's like it's unimaginable the end of abundance cannot even be imagined surpass what the mind can conceive of 
It's beyond the mind. So sometimes self-realization come, there's like a light bulb <laughs> or a lightning strike. Oh, I am whole and complete. There may be bliss for a while from that realization because that may be a big contrast to your state of being. That may be a quantum leap in the vibrational field. Let's say you vibrate at 150 per the map of consciousness from David Hawkins. I think that's what anger, sadness, guilt, shame, 50, 100, self-pity. And suddenly, lightning strike, I'm whole and complete, and you shift to unconditional love, 550 above 500 and then bliss 600 or 700 i don't know and it feels delicious for a while and then the mind comes back to question it <laughs> and you fall back you feel you fall back down no ginger no come on ginger common that's why we say there's a path and there is no path there is no path because you are already whole and complete but there is a path because when the mind is readopted there comes sometimes a grasping and grabbing for bliss I want it back I want it back Who's the one that wants it back? Then the work starts. It's like you've been given a free sample from God. You've been given this free sample. And then you're asked, do you want to go back to your old ways? Or do you want to reside in God? And my friend, when you've got given the big sample or the small sample, no matter what size it is, it may last a second, May last five minutes your bliss, maybe it lasted for six weeks, two years. When you've been given that sample, there is no way back. <laughs> and one will do anything, anything to dissolve this density. And then you're guided by intuition. Where you need to go to dissolve the suffering in love and to melt the sense of separation in pure love. You're being guided already if you are on this path back home. You've been called back home. And if we look at it from the other perspective, you are home already. It's only the belief that you're not home that is creating suffering. But if the pull to adopt the thought is too strong, then there's work to do. Can you say yes to that work? I said yes. And I'm here residing home at peace, whole and complete. And it gets better and better and better. It's incredibly better <laughs> and better residing here so if you want a potent field high vibrational field to bring to bridge you to a higher frequency i am that bridge for you book a time with me because you will get what you need and a little bit more because that's how life works so i am offering my field there's a price attached to it take this opportunity now because the price will only get higher and higher
the more my field is upgraded, the higher the price goes because the more precious it becomes. And it's not personal. I'm not saying this to take my personal credit. I have no credit whatsoever. I am blessed. But I did the work though. I paid for session. I paid for other being to bridge me higher. I paid a high price. I invested in myself and I am so happy that I did because I am whole and complete and I need nothing. And at the same time, I have everything. There to book a time. At some point, I may not even be offering time. Who knows? Okay, bye-bye.